Recently, I made a video about eight secret WordPress plugins you'll wish you knew before. And I was asked whether I know any good WooCommerce extensions that are hidden in the WordPress repository. The answer is yes, and therefore today I'm going to show you seven awesome WooCommerce extensions that you may find useful. First of those is WPC Ajax Search for WooCommerce. And what does it do for you? There are a bunch of WordPress teams out there that doesn't have Ajax Search built in. For example, popular Cadence team is one of those. You have to open up the search, search for bike, enter, and now it's there. But when I go and activate this plugin here, go to WPC Clever, Ajax Search, then I can customize how does it work. For example, first I'm going to open it up in pop-up. I can also choose inline. So what's the difference? I'm going to save as a refresh. Pop-up is this one here. As you see, you can also filter by categories. This is the pop-up version. The inline version, let's open up the search. And when I search for bikes, it opens up down below here. And those are the categories. I like the pop-up version more. So I'm going to switch it back. If you know your button search icon classes, then you can add those here. And then by clicking on this button, it opens up. You can customize overlay layer effects. And if you scroll down, then you'll see there is a add to cart button that you can include. And let's scroll down. You can customize where to display it, menus, for example. And now you can select the post types you would like to be included in the search. I added only products. What else? I can search by SKU, activate or deactivate. By default, WordPress search doesn't include searching by SKU. I can deactivate search by category some caching options, save. There is also a smart search, but this is for the pro version. Some localization options for you and done. It's an awesome plugin if you would like to add a Ajax search for your site. This was first of the great WooCommerce extensions I wanted to show you, but before I move to the next awesome extension, I have to talk about one of the most important aspects of your shop, and that is awesome hosting for WooCommerce. And this is where the Rapid Cloud comes in. First things first, what is Rapid Cloud? It's a managed hosting for WordPress, which has a really good reputation. As you see currently, it has a 4.8 star rating in a Trustpilot. Now let's talk about performance. With uh, Rapid Cloud, your website stays fast and responsive even during high traffic peaks. It is because it's powered by Lightspeed Enterprise servers and it uses optimized caching with Lightspeed Cache and Redis. It allows Rapid to ensure that your site is always performing at its best. And not only that, it is designed to handle dynamic features and high concurrency without missing a beat. It has a free Rapid CDN and Redis caching with Relay. And when it comes to security, then Rapid Cloud doesn't also hold back. With multi-layer proactive defenses like Komodo, Web Application Firewall, Advanced DDoS Protection, and real-time vulnerability detection, your data is safeguarded all the way. Plus, each website is isolated through containerization, ensuring maximum security and performance stability. What is also awesome is that they have a virtual patching for enhanced security, which ensures that your site remains secure until an official update is released. Plus, they have a malware protection, which is a really nifty feature. You can test it for free for seven days, so just click on start free button, register, log in, and after that, you'll see a dashboard like this. So if you're looking for a reliable web hosting, then Rapid Cloud is a way to go. Next one I have for you is called Advanced Dynamic Pricing for WooCommerce. So what does it do? Let's go to the WooCommerce and open up pricing rules. You can create all sorts of pricing rules here. For example, I have created gold package, silver package, and bronze packet rules. They are currently deactivated. I'm going to activate those and I'm going to show you what did I do. If I open up the rule itself, you'll see that it applies only to category called accessories. Role discount. I chose role. For example, you can select customer or whatever it is. I created a separate user role called bronze. And I'm going to give the user with a bronze user role 10% discount. For the silver user roles, 15%. And for the user roles called gold, 20%. I can't believe this plugin is free because with the help of this plugin, you can create all sorts of discounts, product discounts, 
gifts, buy one, get one, bulk rules, roll bulks, roll discounts, cart discounts, and adding it is really easy. For example, let's add a product discount, add a title, demo rule. You can choose whether it applies to any product, specific product, categories, slugs, attributes, and so on and so forth. I'm going to add it to all products, or I can select a specific product, for example, this product here. If I would like to give this product some kind of rule, I can apply it here. Whether it's a fixed discount, percentage discount, or fixed price, you can choose here. Percentage discount, 20. Let's add a roll here. Or card conditions, you'll get 20% off if your subtotal, excluding tax, is at least, let's add, 1000 euros or more. Or I can add any other conditions, for example, bulk rules. If you purchase from one to three products, then you'll get 5% off. If it's four to 10, then you'll get 10% off and so on. So I'm not going to go through all the settings here because this video is just to introduce you to the plugin. But once again, Advanced Dynamic Pricing for WooCommerce. It's an awesome plugin. As you see, mostly five-star reviews. Next, let's move to the plugin called Beer. That is Bulk Editor and Products Manager. I'm going to switch back to my dashboard. When your plugin has been activated, you'll see the link up here or open up products and bear bulk editor. Now what happens here is it looks like a Excel table. If I want to change the price, I either click here and add a price, for example, 299. Or if I need to edit variations, then I'm going to activate this one here. Let's change the price, for example, 120. Enter and done. You can change your images in a similar way, content if needed, short descriptions, product type, regular price, sale price, manage stock, well, activate the stock, for example, this one here, and let's add stock 100, and done. If you open up the settings, then you can customize what type of columns you would like to see over there, and you can rearrange those. Let's imagine that I don't want to change the product type, Therefore, I'm going to deactivate it. Status, deactivate it. What else do we have here? Stock status, I'm going to leave it as it is. Let's save it. Back to the products editor. And now it's less cluttered. Once again, a really nifty plugin if you need quickly to edit your products. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. Next plugin is called Keycoat, location picker at checkout and Google address autofill plugin for WooCommerce. If you activate the plugin, then you'll see the menu under the WooCommerce settings and location picker at checkout or go to the soaring leads and Keycoat location picker. You can activate the plugin, but pay attention that you need a Google Maps API key in order to use it. Choose a map region, select whether to detect customer location on checkout page. You can force using map. I don't like it, so usually I disable it, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to activate it. You can add map link to order emails, display it as a button, select the position, select emails, that is processing order and on hold order, provider, whether it's Google Maps or Waze. Next, I'm going to activate places autocomplete, select fields, billing address and shipping address. I'm going to hide map when using places autocom and I'm going to save it. Next, when we open up the display menu, then we can choose whether should the map appear on a checkout page, checkout top, shipping address and so on. You can change the map instruction text, set the default zoom and default coordinates, some background colors, map heights. You can disable some map controls if needed and some pro version options here. You can set up the store location, for example, store one, store two, set the coordinates and addresses. Where you get coordinates, go to the latlong.net site, search for the address, for example, this one here, find the coordinates, just grab those, paste them here, this one also here, address, another one, repeat the process, save, and done. You can choose whether to display them on the map. Let's select that we're going to display the store selector on the checkout page. 
you can choose whether to allow searching the store locations let's save it next there are some visibility rules that is you can hide map for guest orders if needed you can choose whether to hide map for specific shipping methods i'm gonna delete them hide map for the shipping classes and some other minor options here when we go to the checkout page you'll see there is a map you can detect your current location it displays the stores and there is a address autocomplete for example if i add something here then i can choose the address it will be displayed on the map it also fills the postcode and town fields this can be really useful for your customers because they don't have to fill all the fields here as you see after adding our address there is a drop down deliver from and i can choose the store here awesome so this was a kikoti plugin next let's go to the plugin called dashify woocommerce admin dashboard team now when this plugin is activated and i go to the dashboard you'll see it looks a bit different here on top of the sidebar you'll see all the related menus they are easier to access if you open up orders you'll see the orders page looks a bit different it displays some stats for you order editing page looks also a bit different and easier to use all other wordpress related menus are down below here so basically dashify is meant for the woocommerce users who would like to simplify their dashboard and concentrate on the woocommerce related stuff really simple and nice plugin easy to use and looks good two more plugins to go and first of those is called swift shop for woocommerce this one here so what will it do for you after activating i'm gonna go to the swift shop settings i'm gonna enable the widget and now i'm gonna select where i would like to show it currently it's activated for all my site but if i deactivate this one i can display it only for specific post types but let's select all let's preview the cart and see that this widget will be shown on your shop i'm gonna open up my site and you'll see it's here when i open it up you'll see it allows me to add products to the cart it allows me to open up the products and view the information add it to the cart go back filter it by price attributes for example let's choose this one save and this is my filtered product i can also open up the shopping cart change the quantities here change the address add a coupon code and go to the checkout page now there are a bunch of things you can customize here widget icon activate or deactivate filter enable it on shop page cart page widget button title the one which is displayed here shop page heading text cart page text whether to display the categories or display only some of the categories under the common styles you can change the heading text sizes colors the same goes with the shop page single product page cart page shipping page and filter page there is nothing else to it here now i played with it a bit and i decided that instead of two products i would like to display a bit more so i went to the customizer and added some additional css here i'm gonna show you what happens let's save it and now when i open it up it displays four products it looks a bit better the plugin itself is brand new as you see it was released a week ago but i really like it i hope this plugin succeeds and it will be installed in many sites now the last one i have for you today is called cart link generator for woogamers it's a simple plugin and it does only one thing it creates you a shopping cart that you can send to your customers for example let's search for some products this one here and this one here i can change the price for example instead of 655 i can add 555 i can change the quantities add custom subtotal discount and some expiration days for example three days let's generate the link i'm gonna copy it next i'm gonna open my site in private window visit the link and there you go all the products have been added to the cart as you see there is also a discount place the order and done as simple as that this one here is also a brand new plugin it's easy to use and i hope that this plugin also succeeds wait 
If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here. And take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.